Good afternoon, Oli. Welcome to uh, Kenya Christian Professionals Forum. My name is Naomi Shepimoy, and I'll be the moderator of this event, Karibuni Sana. We're going to start with Mr. Agustin Amadillo to tell us who KCPF is. Welcome. Thank you, Madam Naomi. So we thought that before we delve into the lecture for today, it's, it's imperative and important for us just to have a quick background of who KCPF is and what we do. So I'll do that in like two minutes so that we set a background before we delve into the matter. So allow me to share my screen. Please confirm that you can see my screen. Not yet, but. OK, give me a second. As we can all see. So KCP was founded in 2010, and we are an organization that brings together Christian professionals from various denominations. That is, we, we have Catholics, we have Evangelicals, we have Protestants, and even SDS. So as long as you are Christian, you are qualified to join KCPF. But the other aspect is that these Christians should share common values in five aspects. That is the key pillars. That is protection of life, promotion of family, values-based education, religious freedom, and good governance. So that is what we do at KCPF. And for each of these key pillars, we have committees who run the programs for them. And in, in every program, we have flagship events. Like now for the religion committee, we have a the week of prayer for Christian unity, that is in January. And the flagship event for the same is the ecumenical prayer breakfast, whereby we invite all Christian leaders from various denominations just to pray together, to dedicate the year to the Lord. And then in the second committee is the life committee, where we have flagship events that happens in March. So like next week on 20th, we have the Life Symposium. That's where we shed light on the threats to life and our, and our aims to promote and protect life. So we'll have a Life Symposium that is on 20th of March. And the next event is the March for Life. It will be happening on 23rd, that is next week on Saturday. So you may join in. The picture here is a March for Life whereby we welcome people, that is church leaders, students, Christian professions, just to march in the streets of Nairobi to voice our support for promotion and protection of life. Then in May, that is family, where we have the family week. So KCPF organizes a family symposium. This year it will be on 17th of May. Then on 15th, that is the UN International Day of the Family. That is the flagship event for family. Then for governance, we have Utomishibara Awards, whereby we recognize Christian professionals who are displaying biblical characters in their various spheres of influence. So this is usually held in November, late November, early December. The last one will be on 30th of November. So whereby we appreciate 
and recognize these Christ these leaders. Then, of course, in our work we do, we've done several things just to to promote our agenda, and some of the, these things have been like policy things. So we have the National Family Promotion and Protection Policy, which we've done in partnership with the Ministry of Labor and Social Protection. But then, of course, with the key emerging days we've even had the LGBTQ agenda that is under the family. So KCPF does various things just to fight against this. And one of the things we shall be discussing in this meeting to fight the agenda. Natural that is but um, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Amadillo. Thank you for that preview. I know that right now people who are here are able to say who we are. And I uh, thank you so much. And I think one of the things that you've highlighted is that um, our major work here that we do is to influence um, the legal, social, and religious environment of our society so that it reflects the kingdom values. And I think the paper that we, uh, the bill that we'll be discussing today is um, one that seeks to amend. Yes? We had lost you for a moment. Sorry for that. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, thank you. I I'm saying that uh, the Hifadi Jami bill that we are talking about this day is that uh, we are seeking to amend the constitution of Kenya to be in line with the, to protect the traditional family. And we're going to hear more from our speaker today, Mr. Vincent Kimosop. It's going to shed more light on what we are doing as KCPA. So uh, prepare your questions. It will come after the, the lecture that he gave. So join me as we invite Mr. Vincent Kimoso, our speaker today. Haribusan. Uh, thanks, Tommy. Uh... Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Vincent Kimosop, as you have. Um, I don't know. I think maybe just to say, if you can hear me, no, uh, no, me, uh, if you can make me, uh, is it, uh, make me a host. So I'd love to, I'd love to, to share my screen. Uh, and then uh, I'm happy just to see people I know. Uh, I can see Tolu, uh, Tolu joining us all the way from Nigeria. Hi, Tolu. Uh, I don't know if you're there. Good, 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 good afternoon. Now. Good afternoon, Vincent. Hi, everybody. Thank you for acknowledging me. Yeah, hi, Tolu. Hi. Yeah. hi. Okay, great. Um, so, uh, I, I would love to uh, begin by asking when you, when you, when you, if you could be posting, use the. Uh, I see James. I know James. Uh, James uh, f joining us from Moy University. Uh, I see. You know, just I'm 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 just uh, acknowledging people. When when you go to this information uh, that there will be a public lecture, I don't know what uh, what were your expectations so that uh, we can keep this interactive. If you can use the chat, uh, I will be checking from time to time. Uh, maybe I can get two people who want to uh, just to hear. Uh, what is it that came into your mind? Uh, and then uh, as we, as I can respond or also be cognizant with that as I do my presentation. So who, who has any, uh, um, 
if you have if you have any question uh, or uh, I just want to hear what came into your mind uh, before I go into uh, the presentation. One or two people, you, you can use your 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 sign. I'll see. I'm now uh, uh, in charge. Anyone who has uh, any any question or something that came into your mind when you heard about this, Ifadi Jami. Um, I don't see, I'm not seeing anyone uh, showing. Uh, you can use your sign just, or you can even uh, uh, post in the chat. Um, so since I, 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 is there anyone who has, who would be, you know, what came into your mind uh, before I, I, I go into my presentation? Okay, uh, please feel free. I, I will uh, share my presentation. And before I, I go into uh, the presentation of Ifadi Jami, if you could allow me, um, allow me, I want to, I have two presentations. So I want to start with the with the first one, uh, which is, um, uh, this is uh, the Supreme Court. It's, we are now on 24th of February last year, uh, the, the Supreme Court uh, made a decision uh, that allowed uh, the um, for the uh, freedom of association. That's for the organization that um, had petitioned the the, the court, uh, uh, complaining that they have not been allowed uh, to to they have not been allowed to. Uh, I, can you see my screen uh, overview of the Supreme Court uh, uh, ruling? Is it visible on your screens? Yes, yes, it is. Uh, uh, thank you. So. Um, this was a presentation that uh, the chairperson of KCPF made, eh? and allow me just to use it as a background before I, I come to the Ifadi Jami, and um, I will go into uh, just uh, uh, just some highlights. So in the, in April 2012, uh, not the year, this is uh, the Constitution of Kenya was promulgated in 2010, and there were issues that uh, the, the 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 church raised, as you remember very well, that the church voted. Uh, and rallied its members to vote no. Now, two years down the line, um, in April 2012, I just want you to see, there is a gentleman called Eric Gitari, uh, who went to the NGO Council and reserved the following names. Uh, that's Gay and Lesbian Human Rights Council, uh, Gay and uh, Lesbian Human Rights Observ Observancy, uh, Gay and Lesbian Human Rights Organization, Gay and Lesbian Human Rights Commission, Gay and Lesbian Human Rights Council, Gay and Lesbian Human Rights uh, Collective. Now, as you know very well that um, the court, uh, sorry, the, our laws and our constitution does not um, outlaw the, uh, 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 homosexuality. And um, therefore the NGO uh, refused to, uh, to actually, um, so then on the 25th of March, 2013, I want you to note the years. Uh, this was April, 2012. Uh, and then uh, in March uh, 25th, uh, the NGO Coordination Board, uh, 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 then uh, that time, uh, as you can see, wrote a letter to him, uh, refusing uh, him to, uh, to, to grant the reservation of names uh, on the grounds of section 162, 163, and 165, of the penal court that criminalizes gay and lesbian uh, 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 liaisons. So then um, he, he, he requested for a review and it was not uh, granted. Uh, then what he moved to court, that is the high court. Uh, this is called the Eric Gitari uh, case. And then the uh, uh, complaining that the NGO uh, uh, contravened the provisions of the constitution and those of the NGO act. And then, uh, interestingly, the High Court uh, faulted the decision of the NGO Coordination uh, Board. Uh, and then they said that the petitioner has merits and um, uh, under Article 36, uh, the freedom of association of the Kenyan constitution uh, for all persons living within Kenya. Now, not the years. The constitutional was promulgated in 2010. Um, this gentleman, the journey started in 2013. And then the High Court uh, made a decision and actually agreed with him. Now, it went to the Court of Appeal, and on March uh, 22nd, 2019, by a majority of the decision of the Court of Appeal, they dismissed the appeal, and, uh, and, 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 and that is um, the, the, for organizations like Kenya Christian Professionals Forum that appealed the decision of the, 
uh, uh, the decision of the High Court and appeal the decision of the High Court. Now, um, uh, as you can see, the judges noted that there was no contestation from any side that uh, there, that there are people in this country who have uh, uh, who are described uh, or living with uh, uh, what we call who are LGBTQ, uh, and they are protected under Article Thirty Six. And just like anyone else, they have a right to freedom of association, which includes the right to form an association of any kind. And uh, then, of course, uh, the matter moved all the way to the. Um, uh, 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 and uh, just quoting more what the Scott of Appeal said, they observed that the law as it is currently stands and does not permit homosexual and lesbian practices and the freedom of association of gays and lesbians in Kenya may lawfully be limited by rejecting the registration of the proposed NGO if the country's law do not uh, permit. That is the, the, the interesting part in their observation, even though they upheld the decision of the High Court. Now, uh, uh, sorry, this is the decision of the, the, the majority uh, upheld the decision of the High Court. That is a three uh, to two. Then the minority uh, found Article 27, that's the two of the judges of the Court of Appeal. Uh, that's Article uh, 27, four of the Constitution prohibits discrimination on the basis of personal sex, which is gender and not sexual orientation. I, I want you to note those words uh, because when I come to the Ifadi Jami, you'll actually see part of the backgrounds uh, in, in, that inform the, 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 what I'll be presenting today. Now, um, this was very interesting. They observed that the law as it currently stands does not permit homosexual and lesbian practices and the freedom of association of gays and lesbians in Kenya and may lawfully be limited by rejecting if the country's laws do not permit a uh, sexual practice. This is from the minority. Of course, remember, the majority granted uh, uh, them uh, uh, their petition. So the decision moved to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court uh, identified that uh, they, uh, the, that, uh, uh, I, that was seeking to uh, address the following one, the judgment and the decree of the Court of, of Appeal, uh, disallowing the appeal, and then in order to affirm the right and duty of the app appellant, that is Eric Jarry, uh, uh, that is a uh, uh, NGO board to refuse registration uh, to any association intended to be established contrary to public interest, public policy, or to advance an agenda, uh, or directly or indirectly promoting the conduct that is impugned under the laws. Um, uh, so these were the things that the Supreme Court was seeking to determine. Uh, one was whether there's the first respondent uh, uh, was requested or, or, or to, to exhaust um, the internal dispute resolution that is within the NGO council, and then whether the respondent at the rights under Article 36 were violated, and then whether the respondent's rights under Article 27 of the constitution were violated. Now, um, this uh, on issue number one, uh, uh, the, the majority disagreed. Uh, uh, that the NGO Coordination Act uh, does not provide for an internal dispute resolution mechanism for people who are aggrieved by their decision. Uh, and then they also say that um, they were concerned with the interpretation of the High Court, uh, and it really had uh, the jurisdictions to actually determine the matter uh, because they were dealing with an issue of uh, 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 the constitutional rights. Um, and then on the issue number two, to the court agreed that the right to freedom of uh, association under 36 uh, is not absolute but can be actually limited and that the right is inherent in every person irrespective of whether their views are seeking to promote uh, or, 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 or to, to promote or are popular or not I think uh, that everybody has the right to freedom and um, the right includes the right to form an association of any kind. And therefore, by the courts refusing them um, uh, uh, to, to grant them the, uh, a registration uh, because, of a because of the penal code, they actually said that uh, the, the, the NGO code, uh, coordination board violated the law. Now, uh, I just want to say this at this uh, point, is that this uh, same uh, person who petitioned the court on registering an association, Eric Gitari, uh, also uh, had gone to courts and uh, uh, and, and while in court, uh, what Eric Gitari wanted was also uh, that uh, the provisions of the penal code, uh, uh, interestingly, uh, that is uh, the, the provisions that um, uh, uh, outlaw uh, homosexuality and, uh, and and lesbian behavior, be actually be um, uh, be declared unconstitutional. 
So you have two cases, same person, but actually it's the same issue. And as I'm uh, presenting today, the matter is before the Court of Appeal. Now, uh, why was the issue of the Supreme Court uh, a very interesting uh, to us? Uh, and Kenya Christian Professionals Forum was part uh, was uh, an interested uh, party. Uh, uh, now, they, they, when they made their judgment, I just want to see this, I've even highlighted in red, uh, is that um, they said, even though Article 27 makes reference to sex, the list is not exhaustive. Uh, uh, is not exhaustive. Now, if, if you read, um, uh, just allow me to read for you, Article 27 of the Constitution uh, is the provision that uh, actually points out clearly, it's called equality and the freedom from discrimination. Uh, every person is equal before the law and has the right to equal protection and equal benefit of the law. Uh, equality includes full and equal enjoyment of all rights and fundamental freedoms. Uh, three, women and men have the right to equal treatment, including the right to equal opportunities in political, economic, and cultural and social spheres. Then the state uh, shall not discriminate directly or indirectly against any person on any ground. Now, it then says includes race, sex, pregnancy, marital status, health status, ethnic, social origin, color, age, disability, religion, conscience, belief, culture, race, language, or birth. Now, the, the thing that I should share with us today is that the Supreme Court in their ruling actually pointed out that uh, these grounds are not exhaustive, and therefore they actually went ahead to include that this freedom includes freedom from discrimination based on a person's sexual orientation. Now, remember the Constitution talks about sex. Uh, the Constitution does not talk about sexual orientation. I think it is only the South African Constitution, uh, if uh, I, I can recall, that actually uh, uh, points out that one of the grounds that cannot be discriminated upon is sexual orientation. So, um, so one of the things is what will happen then to the court, the case in the court of appeal uh, that is challenging the penal court that outlaws uh, 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 gays and and, and 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 lesbian behavior. Now that the Supreme Court has said uh, one of the grounds that people cannot be discriminated upon is on sexual orientation. Um, so this is the same, uh, two one person, two cases, the same issue. Now, of course, with the decision of the court, that is that came from the Supreme Court, we saw that uh, we will have a physiological, psychological harm. Uh, that is to the, those who are perpetrators who are advancing this. Uh, there will also be strain in medical facilities and economy in terms of uh, 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 providing services, uh, uh, health and social services for people practicing uh, 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 these habits. Uh, it will affect families and family values because now uh, this conversation has come. It is it's right within us, and then as we know very well that as we uh, as uh, as you will even watch cartoons, uh, you can see very clearly there's a lot of uh, LGBTQ content, and that is uh, destructive to children because they have not matured uh, physically, uh, emotionally, and psychologically. Uh, and then again, uh, also, you know, these issues in other countries for, that we have seen is that with time, you start seeing uh, more and more uh, movement of these issues, institutions being required uh, to be able to uh, uh, to have, uh, you will, like the way you have gay parades in the West, so that uh, gay pride, so you, you'll start seeing some of those things uh, being part of us. And then, of course, in our media, and then those people who are advancing or against the ideology, the gay ideology, uh, uh, they will actually start including churches being ostracized that, oh, yeah, you are hating and all that. So when this happened last year, we sensitized churches and different stakeholders and we came up with an action plan. Number one was spiritual engagement, that this is a spiritual issue. We need to pray about it. Uh, we need to, uh, that God may turn and change the hearts of people, as we have seen in the U.S., even the issue of Roe versus Wade. And we said we need to do intellectual engagement. We do research, publications, opinion polls, engage institutions, and uh, even have a constitutional law team. Number three was then building a movement of people who understand. And the Roe versus Wade case in the US was an example over 50 years. And then it was overturned in February 2023. So uh, that's PF organizes things like the March for the Family, the Life March that's coming up next Saturday. And then uh, the other thing was also that it's time to petition parliament. Let us investigate what is happening, who is funding these initiatives. And I'm happy to report that uh, this was done in the month of February. 
uh, KCPF with other partners, includes Muslims, petition parliament, and we're waiting for their response. Um, uh, the other thing that we also pointed out was we need to build capacity of churches, partners, get people to understand. And I'm very encouraged that today we have a family policy, we have a reproductive policy. Some of these things was a result of engaging in this space. And then media engagement, going out, speaking, because the media is such an influential space. And he who controls the media will actually control the agenda and the narrative. And then finally, was we said we need to collect signatures that will actually lead towards the drafting of, of a constitutional uh, bill to address the issues that the church raised in 2010. So uh, what I have just presented, colleagues, uh, is, is, is a background as to what why we have therefore gotten to the Ifadi Jami Constitutional Amendment Bill, which therefore now I am going to present uh, for us to uh, understand. Uh, that forms the background of uh, why we are here today. So um, I now want to present the provisions of the uh, Ifadi Jami uh, Constitutional Amendment Bill. Uh, if, uh, if I, I don't know if uh, somebody could confirm if uh, the two have been managed to switch successfully. Uh, if you're able to see, uh, just give me a, um, uh, what is it, um, a thumbs up, uh, if you can see my screen. Can you see my yes, screen? Yes, you can see. It should be. Ah, uh, good, fantastic. Overview of the Ifadi Jami. So the Ifadi Jami Constitutional Amendment Bill is actually a bill generated to address, uh, the number, to, uh, uh, to address two things. One is that the issues that the church in Kenya raised in 2010. And I'm going to take us back to 2010. Um, uh, this is just about KCPF. Uh, uh, Amadou has done a good job here, so uh, allow me to skip this. But just to highlight two things. If you look at uh, the second paragraph, is that we provide professional and technical support in influencing the development of a legal and a social environment that is supportive of biblical values in society through research, advocacy, mentorship, and witnessing. So I'm just what we are sharing there for today is technical engagement and proposals to address the issues that we feel will actually help us to contend for what we believe in and what we stand for in the marketplace. And we partner with the churches, the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops, uh, the National Council of Churches, NCCK, EAK. Now I want to say this, that um, there are things fundamentally the church agrees on. For example, the authority and the finality of the scriptures, uh, the deity of Christ, the Trinity, and then um, the, 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 the um, uh, what we call things like the Apostles' Creed. There are things, so we, we've chosen to work on things that we agree on. Uh, for example, uh, that's why you have uh, Christians from different denominations uh, in the Kenya Christian uh, Professionals Forum. So, um, and look at these areas that KCPF works on, the sanctity of life. As you can see very clearly, uh, we will, uh, you, will, you will connect these uh, areas of work in relationship with what we do, because we believe that life is God-given, and this life can actually just be nurtured uh, very well in a context of a family. And uh, it's within the family that we are able to uh, percolate our values, our faith, just as the Bible says in the book of Genesis, that I'm making a covenant with Abraham because I know Abraham will instruct his children in, in his family uh, with his uh, my my precepts, my my laws, and 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 my statutes. So, and then uh, when you look at that, is that a well managed when families come together, they form a community. And then when this community come together, these communities need to be well governed. That's why good governance is part of our agenda. And then uh, part of uh, advancing values. Uh, through uh, values-based education is part of ways of percolating and advancing the things that we believe in uh, in, the, in the five areas that we focus on. So um, uh, in summary, God made us. That is why we, we have religion as a critique. When families come together, family, we, they are well governed within our community. education for its values. So that is uh, really what KCPF is. Now, so the church has been very invested in the constitutional making process, which goes all the way to the days of WACO draft in the year 2005. Uh, we had the BOMAS, actually BOMAS draft, and then WACO draft, 
uh, if I can actually, uh, uh, it's from the days of Mfungamano, uh, for some of you who are old enough, if you remember when uh, in, uh, when uh, we had the Ufungamano initiative, which was called uh, People's Driven Process, and then a guy came and said, uh, even though he's been made chairman of the Constitutional Review Commission, it will not proceed unless there is unity between the, uh, the two commissions. And then from Ufungamano, then the commission chaired by Guy, uh, oh, uh, uh, and then the chair of the Ufungamano, or Oki Ombaka, who became the vice chair of then the bigger commission uh, that generated the first draft, what you, what you normally call uh, the CKRC. Uh, that's the commission, Conist commission on constitutional review, uh, the, the draft that they generated. This was before the elections in 2002. And then thereafter, we moved to BOMAS uh, that generated the BOMAS draft. And then from BOMAS, uh, then it went what what because uh, of the split in government at that time, uh, what we had uh, finally was the uh, Kilifi draft, then from Kilifi, then Wako draft. So all that process, uh, the church was very keen presenting uh, positions and concerns. And, 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 and the church has even made recommendations, presented to different platforms its positions, and I will be highlighting. So um, the following issues and the problem was the issue of Article 5.2. So Article 5.2 is the one that uh, uh, in the Constitution that talks about the general rules of international law shall form part of the Kenyan law. And um, they wanted this to be expanded, to be removed, uh, so that then uh, international treaties that Kenya signs, uh, 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 there is a clear framework for domesticating them, uh, so that then we don't have uh, uh, international law uh, 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 as in what we call uh, direct uh, application application, uh, they have to be taken through, uh, what is it, uh, a process for domesticating them. So uh, that, that, of course, uh, was, uh, I had th things like Maputo principle uh, uh, issues uh, to do with, you know, uh, international law is a product of consensus internationally. And if we have things that uh, contravene our provisions and our values, then uh, I think that is one of the reasons why the church said no. Uh, to that provision. The other one was Article 8. This uh, is looking at the, the, the document that went to referendum in 2010. Article 8 that says there shall be no state religion. Now, um, the, this, the church was concerned because of the retention of Catholics in the constitution. Uh, and and, and, and the, the reason why, uh, uh, of course, Catholics, if you remember, uh, were part of the compromise uh, when Kenya was um, uh, moving toward governed by the uh, Sultan uh, uh, and, and, and that as to protect Muslims, part of the compromise in Kenya was to take over the 10 mile strip from the coast, was to have Kadikots uh, be, be part of the Kenyan constitution. So this was the compromise uh, before independence. So Christians were saying, why should we have Kadikots? Why, why if we uh, uh, and that uh, uh, was uh, an issue of uh, contention. So uh, the recommendation was the removal of Catholics from the constitution. And then we have a an act of parliament giving religi religions the right to set up national uh, fund to pay for religious causes. The act uh, can sit in part of the Kenyan judiciary, but as long as it deals with the Sikh religion, let them be found funded by the beneficiaries of the service. Any expansions of courts uh, are the expense of other beneficiaries. I think, let me just summarize, this was Mainly Christians were thinking, wow, we will have Kadikots across the country. So that was a major issue uh, at that time. Um, then um, the other one that Kenya, uh, the church was concerned was that it was 14 That um, a child less than eight had not known child in fear at that time for um, uh, uh, for, for the church uh, was the could this be a, a strategy for um, uh, what was one of the other ones uh, that the church was concerned about and then Article Twenty uh, so on the on the issue of Article uh, four, fourteen four uh, what the church proposed at that time was uh, uh, the need to expand this section completely 
Children can remain uh, wards of state as per section 114 of the Children's Act of 2001 until their parents are known. If they are never known, they should be assisted to process their citizenship according to information available regarding the child in question. Uh, the other thing was that uh, also that the church raised was uh, madrasas are being funded by CDF. This is unfair to other religions. Uh, all, produ all produce must pay for private uh, institutions to be halal certified uh, and for forcing other religions to raise funds for one religion uh, to fund their activities. The other issue they raised as a result of uh, that was all slaughterhouses are Muslim clerics to slaughter animals. Uh, uh, with uh, Christians pay for each animal, yet those jobs are completely refenced for members of one religion. Uh, then other religions are forced to partake of the meat offered in worship contrary to freedom uh, of uh, conscience. I think basically, uh, if I can, and using it to advance the Islamic agenda. Now, um, Article 26.4 of uh, was the other provision that the church was concerned. Uh, and if I can read Article 26, for, um, uh, this uh, Article 26 of the Bill of Rights uh, is the one that talks about the right to life. So every person has the right to life. Article 2, 26, 2, the, right, the life of a person begins at conception. Uh, 3 is a person shall not be deprived of life intentionally, except to the extent authorized by the Constitution or any other written law. And then the substantive article was abortion is not permitted unless in the opinion of a trained medical professional, uh, there is need for emergency treatment uh, of uh, uh, life or health of the mother is in danger or is permitted by any other written law. So the question is, uh, abortion is already a willful termination of life. Uh, why would we have a, a, such a provision? So the church wanted um, this section uh, expunged uh, completely so that uh, uh, because human beings are a resource, and must be jealously guarded, and the shedding of his innocent blood uh, brings a curse to the land. So that was the position of the church in 20, uh, uh, 20, 2010, and I believe still remains so. Uh, and I just want to say this. Uh, uh, when we, part of the reasons that informed the drafting of the Ifadi Jami Constitutional Amendment Bill was actually uh, when, when there is a court case that was filed in Malindi, and, um, and, and when the court case was filed in Malindi, uh, this was the, 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 the court case that actually uh, 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 sought to have uh, 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 the, 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 uh, uh, the rights to abortion, uh, or called the operationalization of this section. And uh, I think it was ruled in favor. And as we are talking now, the issue is uh, before the Supreme Court. So, sorry, before the Court of Appeal. So you can see the Eric Guitari two cases one is on the issue of uh, freedom of association of gays and lesbians. And then uh, the other one was uh, uh, challenging uh, the penal court, uh, calling for the repealing of the provisions of homosexuality uh, and, and, and the issue of uh, uh, a gay behavior. So then finally, uh, was Article 32 of the Constitution was the other section that the, uh, the church was concerned at that time, which is this is a section that talks about freedom of conscience, religion, uh, belief and opinion. So, uh, uh, sub Article 3, uh, maybe I can read the, the, all of it. The Article uh, 33 one says, Every person has a right uh, to the freedom of conscience, religion, thought, and belief, and an opinion. Uh, two, every person has a right to uh, either individually or in a community uh, with others, in public or in private, to manifest any religion or belief through worship, practice, teaching of observance, including the observance of a day of worship. Then part three, a person may not be denied access to any institution, employment or facility or enjoyment of the right because the person is belief or, or religion. So uh, what, what the church was concerned about, the, uh, the uh, sub article three, uh, was that th this denies the right to be granted under uh, uh, sub article one and sub article three is a travesty against the freedom of worship uh, uh, and Article 27. So the idea uh, very clearly was that, um, uh, will this be, what happens to institutions that we are running as, 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 as believers? Do we, uh, uh, like you, you've seen people challenging the issue of uniform wearing of scarves. Uh, so mainly, I think it was just the whole issue about um, uh, how, do we, how do we address uh, uh, our, our institutions that are run by churches? 
because every religious uh, community uh, can establish places of education that they can manage. Uh, what happens if some of them uh, don't confine? I think if you remember uh, recently, we've had uh, a member of parliament for 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 um, uh, the member of parliament. I think uh, um, uh, the, for Nyali, uh, uh, questioning data that it uh, forces people to go to the to the chapel, and even there was an allegation that some uh, the institution does not allow people to get their marks because of uh, uh, they, they they are not Christians and. Uh, I think this was uh, this is very recent. Uh, therefore, I think that was one of the grounds that the church was raising, which we have seen uh, come to, to, to pass. So, uh, so those two uh, colleagues uh, and uh, members who are present gives us uh, the background. So I've talked about the uh, if you you're joining, uh, uh, what happened in before 2010, what has happened, the outcome of 2010, the the, the uh, referendum, of course. Uh, uh, which uh, the majority uh, got their way at 67%. Uh, and then uh, these provisions uh, and these concerns are still here. Uh, of course, it is the constitution of Kenya, uh, but the issues that the church raised are still uh, here with us. And then we have now the experience of 10 years, uh, naturally over 10 years, because uh, uh, the constitution was promulgated in 2010. We are looking over 13 years uh, this year coming to uh, uh, to with all those experiences that we've had in the public space, in courts, in parliament, uh, and even globally. Uh, and just to say this, um, uh, uh, because now uh, I serve as the secretary of the African Christian Professionals Forum, uh, we are seeing these issues at the continental level. Uh, Uganda passed a legislation curbing uh, homosexuality, anti-LGBTQ, and even upon signing of the law, uh, the World Bank, uh, 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 said uh, suspended their development support for Uganda. Uh, the same issue now is with Ghana. In fact, uh, I think last week there was a debate online in terms of discussing the economic implications of uh, the anti-gay uh, uh, legislation uh, uh, behavior in, in Ghana. So uh, colleagues, uh, where, where Kenya has the progress it has made, other African countries are now looking up to, to us. Uh, there are good things, I'm very happy. For example, the reproductive health uh, policy uh, and article uh, because the the, the 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 issue is related to this one of 264 because uh, uh, you can imagine that that you say everybody has a right to the highest standard of health under article 43 of the constitution uh, and and one of the interesting thing is that uh, that was uh, included is is that article 43 one every person has a right on a to the highest uh, standard of health, which includes the right to healthcare services, including reproductive health. So the question you have is, why was reproductive health elevated all the way to the level of the constitution? It's because of the linkages that it has to Article 26.4. Uh, these are the people who are in the abortion business. And um, because health, there is oral health, there is even mental health, why was it not elevated to this level? So, um, and we have seen advances. In fact, if time would permit me just to talk about the reproductive health policy, the interest, the fight against the policy, which of course finally was successful to get a good uh, uh, document uh, with, um, with very good people in the Ministry of Health, is being challenged and fought. There is even a court case uh, to actually challenge that policy. So. Uh, we are also encouraged that uh, on Article 45, which is on the Constitution, uh, we have now a national policy on family policy. I think Kenya should actually be one of the uh, uh, first countries, it even won an award, to have a national family policy, uh, uh, which is uh, to operationalize Article 45 of the Constitution. So uh, with that now, let me come to the uh, Constitution of Kenya Amendment Bill of uh, 2013, which we call it popularly Father Jami. Now, this is uh, a constitution of Kenya amendment bill, and we are doing this uh, uh, pursuant or uh, uh, as provided for uh, by chapter 16 of the constitution, uh, which talks about the amendment of the constitution. And there are two ways we can amend the constitution. Uh, we can amend the constitution by a parliamentary initiative, or you can actually amend the constitution by a popular initiative. A parliamentary initiative, uh, is very clear, the bill goes to parliament. If it does not affect the protected sections of the constitution, uh, uh, the protected sections are uh, the following one, supremacy of the constitution, the territory of Kenya, sovereignty of the people, national values and principle of governance and article 10 and two, the bill of rights, 
So the issues we are discussing uh, on the Bill of Rights that uh, uh, I have discussed, uh, even Article 10, uh, what we are discussing, uh, uh, colleagues, will actually require a referendum. The term of office of the president, the independence of the judiciary, and that and um, and uh, and and the independent institutions and functions of parliament, the objects, principle, and the structure of the devolved government, and the provisions of uh, of of of, uh, of of chapter sixteen. So anything uh, that touches on those, including chapter sixteen itself, will actually have to go through a referendum. Now, if it is to go through parliament. Of course, there is a, a Article 256 uh, outlines the process of going through Parliament uh, by by two thirds. Uh, if it's if it's not touching the protected sections, and then it is it becomes law. I suspect the NADCO report. I've looked at the provisions uh, under the NADCO report. Uh, that that's the proposed constitutional amendment. It may not require a referendum, uh, but I, I suspect some people will go to court. Uh, but again, uh, that's not uh, part of this conversation. So uh, we are looking at two options at, uh, as uh, the stakeholders and people working uh, within uh, uh, the uh, Kenya Christian Professionals Forum and partners. Uh, the possibility of going either through the parliamentary route or also going through the, the, the popular initiative. So, uh, so far we have uh, developed the we have drafted this constitutional amendment. Uh, we have been in the process of sensitizing people. We, uh, we put it out last year, and, uh, uh, and 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 we we have been collecting views. We have developed the the the, the tool for even collecting signatures. Uh, we make one million uh, signatures, then uh, the process uh, can begin. So we want to amend Article Five Two, if you remember very well. This is the provision that talks about. Uh, 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 this is the provision on, on domestication of international law, uh, which and therefore we want to have uh, Article uh, Article Two Five of the Constitution amended, uh, so that we can have uh, the, uh, the following inserted. Uh, so, as currently read, uh, it, this is what it says. Um, if I uh, just allow me to, to, to read, it. it says the general rules of international law form part of the Kenyan laws. So what we want to add is this phrase that says, insofar as it is, uh, 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 is as far as it's not uh, con inconsistent with the constitution and the laws of Kenya. So that is uh, an insertion we want to add to Article uh, 25 of the constitution. Uh, we also want to amend Article 10. Article 10 uh, is the one that talks about uh, principles and values. Uh, 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 it's called national values and principles of governance. Uh, the national values and principles of governance of this article bind all state organs, uh, state officers, public officers, and all persons when they are interpreting the constitution, which is the judiciary, when they're implementing the uh, 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 enacting, which is the legislature, and then also in implementation, which is the executive. So we want to have a, 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 in 10b, we want uh, uh, the one that talks about, um, uh, this is what it talks about, uh, human dignity, uh, national values are outlined of governance, include, then A talks about uh, patriotism, national unity, sharing of developed power, and then B talks about human dignity. So we want to add, uh, the, uh, and I've bolded there black, uh, uh, sanctity of life, family values. So we want uh, that to be inserted uh, under article uh, 10, uh, uh, Article 10, uh, specifically 2B uh, of uh, the Constitution. Uh, I really hope you can, you're still following because uh, um, uh, uh, so far uh, where we are at. Now, under Article 24, uh, this, is the, this is the provision uh, that talks about uh, the issue of, uh, if you look at uh, 24 is um, uh, specifically is uh, 24, 1 uh, D currently uh, 24 1 talks about uh, the limitations of rights and fundamental freedoms. So we want to amend 24 1 D. 1 D is the one that talks about areas uh, where rights can be limited or uh, the need to ensure the rights and fundamental freedoms of individuals does not prejudice the rights and uh, 
uh, after others, uh, we have the individuals, the issues of uh, uh, families, uh, and then the issues of uh, uh, communities. Uh, that that is the insertion we want to be uh, put in Article Twenty Four One D, as 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 it is uh, as I've just uh, taken us through. And we also want to uh, amend Article Twenty Six uh, of the Constitution. Uh, Twenty Six is the one that deals with the abortion, uh, which I had uh, outlined. Uh, uh, 26, uh, 26 uh, uh, I had read earlier is the or the the, the title there is the rights to life. Uh, so what we want to uh, amend is 26.4. Uh, as currently read, 26.4 reads, uh, abortion is not permitted unless in the opinion of a trained health professional, there is need for emergency treatment or the life or health of the mother is in danger or if permitted by any other written law. So what we want to see is uh, then, to we want to see the term, the term abortion deleted, and then we, we have the insertion of deliberate termination of pregnancy is not permitted, uh, because uh, uh, from our experience, literature, locally, and, and, and working with our partners, uh, 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 abortion has different interpretation. So we want to uh, have that clearly. We also want to have, uh, uh, instead of our health professional, we want to have a medical opinion of a trained health uh, professional. Uh, uh, just to raise the, the standard in terms of whose opinion uh, within the medical profession uh, uh, can be, we should be the one to be relied upon. And then finally, the, uh, the issue of the health of the mother or the unborn child is in grave danger. Currently, we, it stops at the danger of the mother uh, 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 the unborn, uh, 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 the unborn is uh, is not part of uh, the considerations when that termination is being discussed. Um, we also want to see Article Thirty Two amended, which is the one on the freedom of conscience, religion, belief, and opinion. Uh, the specific article we want is that a person shall not be denied access to employment or in any public institution or facility because of a person's uh, a person's uh, belief or uh, or religion. Uh, what we want to see here is um, uh, just to ensure that uh, um, uh, when we we are dealing with the uh, uh, access to institutions, uh, it's 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 very clear uh, uh, to the extent that uh, 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 denial of access uh, will, will not uh, will, will 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 not be uh, an issue. So uh, we just want to then uh, uh, also amend Article Thirty Three uh, of the Constitution uh, Thirty Three Two. Um, at 33.2 is the one that talks about um, uh, freedom, uh, Article 32.2 uh, is, uh, if I can read the right, uh, to the freedom of expression does not extend to, currently we have uh, the following one, propaganda for war, incitement to violence, hate speech or advocacy of hatred that constitute ethnic incitement, vilification of others or incitement to cause harm, or is based on any ground of discrimination and Article 27.4. So what we want to add is uh, uh, E, which is pornography, uh, lewd or indecent behavior, or obscene material. So that freedom does, is, is uh, just to protect uh, really our children and, and to also protect uh, those who abuse such rights uh, uh, to spread and to um, uh, uh, advance uh, uh, pornography and indecent behavior. Uh, we also want to amend Article 36 of the Constitution. This is the one that talks about the freedom of association. Now, this, uh, if I can summarize here, that this is based on the experience that we, we've had, uh, even the ruling that uh, Eric Gitari's uh, case got. So what we want to see is that we want to see Article 36 to uh, 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 amended, and then we have uh, adding two and a, uh, uh, we want to add two A, a and B. Uh, so uh, uh, one is, uh, the B we want to add is that the government shall not be compelled to register any organization whose objects, uh, 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 whose objects uh, promote, uh, uh, I think maybe objects and purpose, I can add that, uh, to promote or support illegal conduct. So that it's explicitly provided for in the constitution. So we are putting this, uh, and I said the experience we had with the Eric Gitari, uh, uh, and, the, uh, and that went all the way to the Supreme Court inspires uh, this. We also want to uh, amend Article 45 of the Constitution. Uh, Article 45 is the one that talks about the family. 
uh, Article 45, one says the family is the natural and the fundamental unit of society and the necessary basis of social order and shall enjoy the recognition and the protection of the state. Uh, so what we want to uh, do is to uh, insert uh, uh, and renumber uh, to have uh, two A, A and B. So uh, and we want to add uh, a B so that the, the current provision becomes A. Uh, uh, the current one is every adult has a right to marry a person of the opposite uh, sex based on free, uh, uh, free consent of parties. So we want to add another provision to say marriage or unions between persons of same sex is prohibited. Uh, that is uh, what we are proposing under the Ifadi Jami uh, Constitutional Amendment Bill of 2023. Now, um, the other thing that also what we are proposing here is that if you go to uh, Article 260 of the Constitution, Article 260 of the Constitution is the one that, uh, 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 actually it starts from 258, chapter 17 on general provisions uh, or, or, uh, that uh, outline how the Constitution will be enforced. So Article 260 is the one that gives uh, definitions uh, to facilitate and to help interpretation. So you have things like the, an adult, who is an adult, what is affirmative action, what does it mean to contravene county legislation disability? So we want to add uh, uh, other, other, other provisions. Uh, so the first one is conception. Uh, uh, and this, of course, uh, speaks to Article 26. Uh, the one talks about the rights to life, which means the union between a male and female uh, garments that is uh, uh, to form a human being. So that is uh, what we want to be well defined. Uh, the union, uh, male and female, and then the outcome. And then sex, uh, which we should mean a biological state of being male or female and includes uh, intersex but does not include sexual attraction, orientation, or behavior. Now, again, I say this is coming from the experience of the Supreme Court uh, where they went ahead to even uh, extend the interpretation and uh, uh, of discrimination under Article 27 that it, it should actually, uh, it, is, uh, it does uh, to include that part of the ground that people should not be discriminated upon is on their sexual orientation. The other one is uh, the issue of gender, which we define very clearly. It means biologically male or female person. Uh, the unborn child, which means a person uh, uh, from conception till uh, 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 birth. And then the intersex means a condition in which a person is born with sexual anatomy, reproductive organs, or chromosome pa patterns. Uh, that do not fit the typical definition of male and female. So um, that is um, uh, therefore uh, what, uh, the, what the Ifadi Jami uh, 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 Constitutional Amendment Bill, we used to call it Linda Jami, but when we had a meeting with the Speaker of the National Assembly, he recommended we consider using Ifadi because of preserving. Uh, uh, Linda is more from protecting. Ifadi has, is broader. So we are growing in this journey as, uh, as, as we have traveled it from the 2010 after the promulgation of Katiba, uh, but uh, it has been accelerated by the recent developments. I've talked about the Eric Guitari's case, uh, the issues of uh, uh, the case on uh, abortion guidelines, the fight on uh, the, uh, the, the family policy, reproductive health policy, the advocacy we've conducted as we've grown as an institution, as we've been getting our members, uh, and then I say this journey started way back, all the way to 20, uh, 2000, before 20, 2005. And the people who've traveled it, we hope that uh, we will be successful. Um, as we have uh, grown, we've realized it's very important uh, that uh, we work together, having a united uh, 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 voice, because uh, unity is very key. A kingdom united, cannot, uh, can, divided, cannot stand as Jesus teaches us. Uh, in 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 the in the in in in, in the book of um, uh, Matthew, uh, we also require political acumen, so that where we are witty as serpents, uh, but also being innocent as, as doves. Is we we need to to we need brothers, we need members where you are at. Uh, 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 James in Eldoret, uh, if you want materials to sensitize people, so that people can put in their signatures, because we are exploring both the parliamentary and also the 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 the, the, the public. The public, why we we uh, we may go the public process uh, route is because it's also be part of awareness creating. 
uh, people to be aware so that people can sign their signatures, they can give towards this cause, they can volunteer to train people because we are currently giving of our time, of our resources, and yet we believe that um, we are not alone. Elijah said, I am the only one remaining, but we truly believe that there are many people, even those who've turned up for this call. Um, again, boldness, which of course uh, comes by being empowered by the Holy Spirit to do this, uh, and also being distinct, though being of the, in the world, but not of the world, people to understand what is the motivation. We are not doing this because we hate people who would currently be practicing or who actually have fallen into the traps or who are uh, 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 practicing homosexuality or uh, uh, or, a gay, or or a lesbians. We we know Jesus came to uh, to seek and to save the lost. So la hating the sin but loving the sinner, uh, knowing that even Christ died for such. And then uh, finally is also gravita. We want to be felt, do more of this, uh, train, educate, sensitize, and share information for people to be aware. Uh, if you are not getting to know about KCPF today for the first time, uh, we are based at uh, a Wall Mini House, uh, fifth floor. These are the address. You can access us on Twitter, on Facebook, uh, and, and 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 also uh, you can access us through mobile phone. You can go to the website of KCPF, share that your information, including our uh, Facebook. Um, so allow me to stop here so that then we can check questions. Uh, I hope I have been as uh, clear as uh, as as I can, uh, and really honored that uh, you have found time to join us uh, for this uh, presentation this afternoon. So uh, I I will check questions. Uh, uh, and then uh, we can conclude this. So in terms of just the uh, action points that we expect us, uh, one is to we want to sensitize more people to be aware. So please read, uh, get to know about it. Uh, number two is also uh, uh, share this information with other people. Uh, we will be producing materials, uh, uh, summarized versions of the bill and the reasons why Ch uh, Chad said no. As you can see very clearly, we have left certain issues, like for example, Kadi courts, uh, because at, at times uh, we have we've seen Muslims have come out very strongly to fight uh, uh, the, the 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 gay agenda, and we've realized that uh, uh, that's a, a fight we will leave it for another day. For now, uh, if we can protect families, uh, deal with the LGBTQ, uh, deal with abortion, uh, uh, protect our families, our children, uh, uh, deal uh, fight uh, pornography. Um, that for, for us would be a good place to begin. So just to preempt that discussion. Um, uh, we, we are in the process of collecting signatures. Uh, we started uh, this journey. Uh, we even have a portal. Uh, can, uh, uh, if you go to KCPF website, uh, we have a portal called uh, Ifandi Jami. You can sign in there uh, 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 as, as, uh, as part of support this. Uh, it will be different. If we were talking today that... Um, uh, we already have one million. We know very well that the church was united in 2010, and we believe strongly um, that uh, we will be able to get this uh, going. Uh, just to say additional information is that uh, with working with parliamentarians uh, like Kaluma, there's already a bill in parliament called the Family Protection Bill sponsored by Kaluma. It's taking time because of the interest we have even all the way from the West, uh, but that is part of the work that we are supporting. Uh, and, and, and I want to say that all is not lost because uh, when we look back from 2010, a lot of capacity has been built. Uh, KCPF has grown to a place whereby now we have the, uh, the continental uh, chapter, which is called the African Christian Professionals Forum, uh, that is actually uh, 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 trying to share this uh, information, build capacity for other African countries. So uh, the, just to say that um, it, the, it's not... Uh, all is not lost. God is at work. And uh, I, um, that's why I acknowledge my brother Tolu, who is in Nigeria. We used to do this work here in Kenya. And um, we know that they have a, a different type of a fight there. So we see this in countries like Ghana, even Sierra Leone, uh, uh, Liberia. So um, we thank God for the privilege. So KCPF is a membership organization. Uh, please join us. Uh, we, there is so much that needs to be done. And we have professionals whom God has uh, equipped us uh, to be able to understand these issues, read and understand the times. I really challenge us uh, to join us in this uh, 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 in this endeavor, uh, where you can educate, share information, uh, where we you can give towards this course. Please give. You can give of your time. You can give of your resources. 
and also be there. Like on Saturday, the 23rd, we are going to have live match uh, here in Nairobi. I've just come from the police station. And um, just to say that uh, uh, we have to demonstrate the things we believe in by being in the public space. So um, I know I've said a lot of things, but um, I really hope that uh, in one way or the other, you've gotten something. Uh, I welcome questions and um, where, where I will have answers, I'll be very candid. I'm happy I can even see our secretary. I handed over to Philip. Uh, so Philip uh, is here uh, and uh, we will do this together. So uh, over to you, um, let's uh, have questions. Uh, you can post them. Uh, you can uh, uh, give me your sign. Uh, yeah, thanks, Anne Kibuchi, for the feedback. Uh, we bless the Lord for the opportunity uh, to serve to him with the praise and glory. Um, any any question? Um, I, I hope uh, that, uh, that I have tried uh, um, to, to elaborate. So any question, clarification? Even those who have ideas, if you have members of parliament, connections we can work with, um, you can come and share, uh, tech members to understand so that um, you can imagine if the child said yes in 2010, uh, what, what testimony would we have been bearing today? So um, at times, I, I remember one of uh, our former chair, Anne Bug, was telling us that God has not called us to succeed according to the standards of men. He has called us to be faithful. So uh, that is what we, the testimony we have today, and we thank God, and even praying for more people. So, and we are doing this at the time at the NADCO reports, uh, where they, they are discussing constitutional amendments. So this is also a timely issue, uh, but we are asking for your support. Uh, um, any question? The, the silence tells me either I have uh, I have been speaking to myself, or uh, I have been well understood, or I have changanya uh, 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 So uh, please. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. Oh, thanks, Philip. Uh, Philip, uh, there is a question from uh, KCPF. Cannot ask question. We are, me, I'm here. So let's uh, unless uh, you're notifying me something, uh, you can type for the, the person who is appearing as KCPF. This was for the members outside there. Or, or you have questions, uh, Kenya Christian Professionals Forum. Yes, the, no, not questions per se, but there are some things that had been brought to my attention when I shared this. So maybe I can wait for members first right, to ask questions. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so um, someone had asked about, I don't know if they're in the meeting, but they had asked about um, Article 26.4, yeah. whereby we are introducing the word medically. So they were asking yes. what makes us think that uh, that medic can't be biased. We know the intent of man, so man can be biased. So, for by us introducing medical opinion, do we do we want to suggest that this person cannot be biased? And two, in the same yeah. uh, article twenty six four, they had asked why we are retaining the word health of a, ma a mother, and in WHO the definition of health it means a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being. So they said that mental can be disappeared from the same, that you can say that this mother's health is in danger because we are looking at the mental well-being of that mother. So they think that Article 26.4 is still an open clause, according to them. Okay, um, thank you so much. Uh, uh, let me, I see the questions we have. Um, the, um, thank you so much, uh, Philip. I really appreciate it. Philip, uh, you need to buy me coffee. This is uh, your work. <laughs> uh, uh, Philip was uh, uh, my intern, and I really thank God for his growth and grace, God's grace upon him. Um, uh, the well done. Uh, this is from Dr. Maria Mulay. Uh, thanks, Dr. Tari. Thank you, uh, uh, Skadurima. Uh, bless you, Katharima. Uh, the uh, question from... Um, Tolu, uh, Tolu is asking me, what are the collaborations with the USA litigants and beneficiaries of Roe and Wade movements which successfully overturned the abortion uh, law and the Supreme Court? Um, 
uh, uh, we we have some partnerships. Uh, uh, of course, we are yet to fully get there. Uh, Family Watch International, um, uh, Family Watch International uh, is actually uh, our partner. Uh, so we are working very closely in this, uh, uh, and 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 of course even ADF, that's Alliance Defense Fund. Um, and um, of course, we know partnership is something that uh, Tolu has to be progressively grown. So uh, if you know other people are outside ADF, uh, that's Alliance Defense Fund, Family Watch International, please uh, get in touch. Uh, the more the merrier. Uh, Dr. Maria Mule, yes, we are indeed working with the Muslims on the issue against the LGBTQ. We even held a, uh, uh, we held a conference at Panafric. Uh, it was aired on Citizen, you saw, and we... Uh, we have written a petition to the National Assembly. It's been received, and we have uh, uh, evidence to document uh, 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 confirming. So we are working with them, with the Muslim. That's why at the moment, uh, Kadikot is not on the table uh, because uh, 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 it, this is also a political issue. So we have to appreciate uh, the strategic nature of uh, uh, building and working closely. They are actually more uh, radical than ourselves. They've even done a demonstration uh, to the to the judiciary. So um, yes, we are working with them, Dr. Maria. Um, the the two questions from uh, Naomi. So Naomi, the the I think if you look at uh, the need to amend Article uh, two five of the Constitution to say that in so far as it is consistent with the Constitution of Kenya uh, and 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 laws, uh, that will take care of the uh, the international definition of uh, health under the WHO. So uh, uh, that the issue of uh, 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 it, we will only apply it to the extent that's consistent uh, with our constitution and and, uh, and our Kenyan law. On the issue of the medic, that discussion uh, did actually feature in 2010. In fact, uh, as I have done this presentation, I feel I'm being taken back to pre-2010 when we were doing a lot of public education, sensitizing people about uh, 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 Katiba in 2010. Um, there was a question about uh, in 2010 that uh, when you return the issue of medic medical because we have a lower ratio of medical doctors uh, and that's why the compromise was uh, the issue of um, of uh, health uh, professional uh, which we have uh, we, so uh, you know one of the, the 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 issue when you look at the hierarchy in decision making and the training and also the the level of uh, authority in the space uh, the medical doctor has the highest res responsibility uh, 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 when it even even the way the, the medical sector is organized. And um, so we, we want to go for the highest uh, uh, level of responsibility and, and, and then also, which also with it comes uh, training and capacity to make uh, decisions on the issue of the health uh, professional. And of course, uh, one, one of the things that for those who've done advocacy, you ask for the best, uh, we may not, we may get, we may not get, you know, but uh, for us is to push for that issue of what is, who is in the best place uh, to actually make the right decision uh, when it comes to determining uh, whether the life of the mother or the unborn uh, is in danger. And in our view, it is the, the medical doctor. So, and of course, with the advancement of technology, uh, people can consult even virtually. So those will be some of the reasons. Uh, it may not go through, but... Um, uh, we, 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 our responsibility is to do the right witness and to advise on what we see as the best professionally and technically, uh, even as we seek to protect the sanctity of life. Okay. Um, is there any other question, good people? Um, uh, so it, since you have your emails and your, we, we have already received them, uh, I'm going to, we, we, we will see how to share this presentation, uh, share the notes for those who are interested, uh, so that then you can also uh, use them uh, to, 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 to disseminate and to share within your uh, context and your audiences. Hey, um, the silence is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, uh, is loud, people, anyway. Um, so if I where don't else? have any other questions, I think, uh, yes, where, Joshua? where could we get the, the bill itself? Of... Ah, yes, it will be mailed. If you registered, we you will get the bill together with the, with the notes. I have, there are two notes. One is uh, some popular version of the bill. And then also the other one is uh, the issues the church said, no, in 2010. 
And uh, if you want more information, as I've shared the details about KCPF, uh, you can drop an, a, a mail to us and we will share them with you. Okay, thank you very much. I'll do it later. Yeah, okay. Joshua, where do, where do you work and where are you from? Are you students so or are you working? I'm a student. Where are you? You and Parkland School of Law. Oh, I see. Ah, we we need more of you guys to the to 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 join us and to 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 be part of this journey. We will surely be together. We okay. Pass 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 with regards to the team there. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, um. Kim if there is no any other question, yeah. Uh, there is another issue that has raised up. The, yeah, okay. Uh, um, one is saying that uh, they are seeing that in uh, Article 32, yes. it seems that we deleted the word or the enjoyment of any rights in that, in uh, that article. Article 32, uh, 32 what? 32? Three. The one we, we've said that we've deleted the entire sub-article, but it comes to their attention that we only deleted the part that says or the enjoyment of any rights. Uh, the proposed amendment on Article 32.3, uh, if I can take it again, is that we are we are inserting uh, uh, under Article, uh, you see Article 33 has uh, three sub-articles, uh, one, uh, two, and three. Uh, article one has uh, A, uh, three section A, B, and C. Uh, article 2, 33.2 has the... Uh, how many has uh, uh, D, A to D, and then D has uh, uh, sub, uh, sub sub articles one, one, and two. And then uh, we have, uh, so we are inserting it will, so 33, with, when our, our proposed amendment goes through, we will have article uh, 33, two, and then there is the first part. And then, uh, no, sorry, we will only insert uh, after D. Uh, D, we will have E, so that it's an it's an it is an it's an addition. We are not uh, scrubbing the all of it. Okay. Am I clear? That's that's thirty three. No, they meant thirty two three. Oh, for thirty two. Uh, what we are doing under Article thirty two, or what we are proposing under Article thirty two. Um, uh, it's it a person shall not be denied access to employment uh, in any institution facility because of somebody. Uh, let me see. So, uh, um, access a person uh, to any institution uh, to any institution. Uh, so. Uh, Oh, you, oh, you, so, oh, let me see. A person shall not be denied access. Uh, just hold on. Um, so that I read uh, uh, the, 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 the correct provision. I can refer to uh, under Article 33. Um, I, let me check that uh, uh, now, me kindly, just so that uh, I, I, I share the right information. But you will see it when the bill is disseminated. Is that okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah, we 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 are we we are amending it by deleting the entire sub article and just replacing it with a person shall not be denied access uh, to or employment in any institution or facility because of a person's uh, belief. That's it. So the uh, concern was, yeah. if we remove the part of the enjoyment of any rights, how will it yeah. be that you are accessing or you're being employed, but you can't enjoy any other rights? I am struggling to get. So if the the let me let me let me open the the just since I'm able to let me open the the bill. And then I can project it. Um, uh, 
uh, anyone can post any question in the meantime. I'm just opening the the. You can see. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, so, the, the, so this is the bill that you will receive, Joshua. Uh, this is how it looks like. Uh, uh, if I the Jamaican Constitutional Amendment Bill, uh, this is what I have taken us through. Uh, oh, 33, talks about um uh let me see 32 talks about uh it's freedom of conscience religion belief and opinion so every person has a right to uh freedom of uh conscience religion uh a thought uh and belief and opinion uh, every person has a right to either individually so that is three two and then 33 uh three 32 three a person may not be denied, may not be denied access to any institution, employment or facility or enjoyment of any other right because that person's uh, belief uh, so. So we, we are just, I, I think we're just putting it plainly, my understanding. Let, let me see the, because we have the objects uh, and purpose uh, for 32, let me see. So don't. Uh, do you provide that? There should be the reasons why we have we are clarifying that provision. Uh, but let let me consult on this. Uh, I I I would love to guide us appropriately. Uh, I I can only the only information I have is uh, on on um, the 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 the, um, the reason why we voted no in 2010. Uh, sabbatical three denies uh, yes. Uh, sabbatical three denies uh, the the very uh, right granted by Article one. Sabbatical three is a travesty against the freedom of worship, since Article twenty seven deals with discrimination. And then, uh, so therefore, replace with that call uh, uh, with Section Seventy Eight of the Repeal Constitution, so that the freedom of worship is given full expression without any fetters. So um, I have the entire provision of Article uh, of Section Seventy Seventy Eight of uh, of the, the the Repeal Constitution, uh, and I can share this uh, uh, after this uh, now. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, good people. Uh, Mine is just to say a big thanks for the opportunity. I and uh, to wish you the best, and uh, thanks for finding time to be part of this. Uh, God bless you. A nice weekend. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Vincent Kimosa, for such an in depth and comprehensive um, analysis of what we are doing as KCPF. Um, Ours now, as you've said, that the call right now is to sensitize people, to let people know of what you're doing. And um, even as we head to collecting the a million signatures, I believe that you will be one of them. So thank you so much for finding time. Uh, follow us on our uh, social pages, that is YouTube, X, formerly called Twitter, uh, and all the social platforms. You'll find us there. Thank you so much and have a blessed evening.